Since we know how to add spaces to our model, zones are the next step. What zones do is they combine spaces to make, well, one big zone. With that, we can combine all the heating and cooling data, then run reports on it. So let's get started. I'm going to jump into Revit. Now, we didn't add any spaces to this model, so let's do it now. Let's go to the Analyze tab. Let's click Space. This time, I just want to place spaces automatically. 37 spaces were created automatically, so click Close. This will get any enclosed area. Let's rename these spaces. Now remember, we can go to Space Naming, so on the Analyze tab, on the Spaces and Zones panel, let's click Space Naming. We'll go with names and numbers and click OK. Elements have duplicate number values. That's the architect's fault. Click OK. It's a little bit ugly. But what happens is this. Under HVAC, let's go to level 1 under floor plans. It's a little cleaner. Now what we want to do is click the Zone button on the Analyze tab. Notice that we need spaces. So what we want to do is, with Add Spaces selected, we'll click this space, this space, this space. This will be one zone. Let's scroll down till we find Name. Two is not a good name. We'll call it Northwest Zone. Click Apply. Now let's click Finish Editing Zone. Let's go back to Zone. Let's select our lavatory. And we'll grab the little plenum spaces here. For the name, we'll call it Men's Room. Click Apply. See where I'm getting at here, right? Click Finish Editing Zone. Go to Zone again. I want to grab this one and then this one. For the name, we'll call it North West Offices. Click Finish. We don't have to do too many. Let's create a zone out of the corridor. So click Zone. Let's add our corridor. The name will be Corridor. Click Apply. Now let's click Finish Editing Zone. Now notice when we hover over one of our zones, We'll see what will happen is it's going to have little arrows that lead towards the spaces that make up that zone. Notice also when you have it selected, you can click Edit Zone if you want. You can add or remove or do whatever. But notice that it has the entire occupied area, gross area. We can finish editing zone. And of course, we have the same properties if we just select it. Hit Escape a couple times. Now what we can do is we can go to Heating and Cooling Loads. And from here, we can look at it based on our spaces. If we go to Detail, our spaces are selected, but check it out. They're broken down based on those zones we just created. So if we go into Northwest Zone, we can just click on one of our spaces. If we click on the Isolate button, it shows us our spaces. Go to Analytical Surfaces. Now we drill into there. We see roofs, walls, interior walls, floors, slabs, all of that stuff. And the cool thing is, this is reading from a linked model. Windows, pretty cool. Now we can save these settings. We can calculate, so click on Calculate. Now we have our loads report. We can go to each space. We can go to a zone summary and has all of it. Now go ahead and select one of these zones and scroll down. Notice that our mechanical flow, it now is calculating the mechanical flow. Calculated heating, all of this is now being calculated. Hit escape a couple times. There you go. That's how you create zones and how you run analysis on those zones.